This one has a, lo- has a little bite to it, to the atmosphere. I'm into that. Mm. Oh, I kind of wish that lasted longer. That little mm, adds that little bite to it because it's not the expected chord progression. That's coming in segments, I'm sorry. More great vocal layers and then also to add that little bit of distortion at the tail end of the phrase. Give us another four bars of it. Yes. Nice. I just wish I had eight bars of that each time the drop came, but it's okay. Some light side chaining. Get that little pump. like a really easy going like light dance pop track that's why I haven't said much this is kind of like 
stays stays in that pocket in this kind of genre. Like her voice, regardless, sounds wonderful. That's something we all know. Not bad, not bad, not for my playlist, but not bad. Heart or Pum? Hey, guitar chords. Nice little soul bluesy feel to the production I'm into it. I like it. I'd listen to it again. It still adds to that on that on that grown tip vibe of this album. Okay. Finally getting a little more upbeat again.
switch his guitar yeah. so a lot less uh, kind of like filtered back thinking it was powered in and it did got three chords in I'm sure you'll try love again. You haven't even tried me yet. I'm only joking. You know she's only like two years older than me, right? It's not too out of the... It's not too crazy to think. Back on a more kind of pop rock guitar feel. Not expected to go this route. Back again for the bridge bit. Interesting choice. Cool. Another one that it wouldn't necessarily add though. Fun track though. Now everyone knows the weekend. So I guess I gotta add the album version to the playlist. Whatever I want. 
And I did do a reaction to this, by the way. I looked it up. Hey. Now this is the kind of bop we haven't heard through the whole album so far. song now ending credits What a nice job. With that side chaining. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The swell. It really is like a nice kind of grand finale that still kind of stays within the mood of 
majority of the album. That very, very light delay on the vocals. Very nice. I quite enjoyed this. This was a pretty darn good album. And I just gotta give props where the props are due. Good job, Taeyeon. Fantastic work. Like mentioned all throughout this, this is a very, very like grown, mature, kind of sophisticated album. Like it, it truly matches the album cover here. Um, it just because when I first saw the cover, I was like, this doesn't even look like an album cover to me. It looks like like some kind of like an ad in a in a magazine or something. Um, and and it just you know supposed to sell that that sophisticated beauty and and even though it's like a it seems like an apple in the uh, album cover, it, it just looks like that that should be um, that is actually a bottle of perfume or cologne or something that she's selling, and it's just like sophistication, grown, sexy, sensual, but not really that sensual, just grown and sexy. Um, so you know that's the, that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting from a lot of this. Like nothing's like super overtly like really sexual or sensual about this whole album but it just seems like adult mature sophisticated dem demure and all that uh, those wonderful synonyms that i can attribute to the vibe that i got from this album and it's just like yeah she's a grown woman like we we know this she's definitely not a little girl so she's not making little girl music um now that's not to say that there isn't a need for some bops and that's why they got they went ahead and put weekend on, on here cuz that's the most boppy of bops on here but then you also do have some things that kind of somewhat stray from the 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 norm that to add a little bit more upbeatness and something you could just kind of vibe to outside of like the typical and that's why you get stuff like can't control myself and and then timeless is is a little bit more of a uh light dance pop one and then also you better not brings more of that kind of kind of more pop rocky kind of feel too um but but unfortunately those are the ones that kind of uh detracted from me it's just like they're not bad songs they're just not a style that I particularly always get drawn to and so those are ones that I just couldn't see myself adding to the playlist so therefore I didn't do it now now if you know coming back listening to the full album I decide to change my mind you know that that's definitely a possibility but overall like some of my favorite tracks on here um, would would definitely be um, uh, I envy you is up there um, uh, Cold as Hell is up there for me. Um, I really did enjoy um, ending credits. Weekend has always been really good, and I had that added ever since the, the single came out. Um, and that's also like a break from kind of what the rest of the project was, was doing as well. Um, but if there is like an overall storyline to it, I could definitely see somewhat the, you know, being free from all the heartbreak and stuff that, you know, kind of weakened vibe brings you know you know I'm, I'm just happy when the weekend comes you know i can do whatever i want finally free and to you know from the stress of of life and love and all that stuff it's just all about what i want um but you know as i do not speak korean and, and i i am not 100 percent sure if there really is like a storyline from beginning to end th through the lyrics but if there is i could see how the weekend could be kind of like a nice way to t kind of tie that up until you get to the ending credits um but but yeah overall 
I thought there were a lot of a lot of really good tracks, um, and I didn't mention favorite track out of the whole thing is Siren. Siren's definitely my favorite track on this whole thing. Um, Heart is also up there, probably in like second place for me. Um, but yeah, solid project as to be expected. Tan's a fantastic vocalist, um, and and the production that she chose for this was definitely uh, I, I think possibly a bit of a risk. Um, because there's there's not a, a whole lot of to me in my eyes like super trendy stuff, um, and you know she kind of went with a, a much like I see this this music um, being more attractive to a attractive to a older audience, um, but you know Taeyeon is Taeyeon and and she's she's a legend and I know a lot of people are going to check it out just because it's Taeyeon so you know it is it is what it is um, so yeah what do you guys think I know I shared a whole bunch of my nonsense thoughts then that's not as important as what you guys think so tell me what you think down in the comment section below I'll definitely be looking forward to reading that if you're here on the YouTube you can hit the like button you can also subscribe if you'd like to see more reactions or reviews here on the channel and uh, yeah lastly still have that patreon available you go to patreon.com slash blipmaster5 if once again if you're on youtube the link is there and then also if you're on the blog we also have the head writer the head honcho miko so if you want to support her on her patreon you can do so as well it's muddy cult miko you'll be able to find her that way and um it, it helps us continue to make the content to bring to you all um but yeah um, that is going to be it for today. So until next time, much love, peace, peace.